Have you ever wondered what Formula One drivers do after retiring from the sport? Do they maintain ties to the racing world or embark on an entirely different path apart from racing? Well, today let's explore the post-retirement pursuits of Formula One drivers, starting with the four times world champion Sebastian Vettel. Following his retirement from Formula One at the end of 2022, Vettel has been enjoying precious moments with his family. Transitioning away from Formula One has been an entirely novel experience for Vettel, leaving him with a sense of strangeness. Consequently, he actively seeks out new and intriguing pursuits to occupy his time. Expressing a keen interest in sustainable sports with minimal environmental impact, Vettel has ventured into investing in sailing. He's now a co-owner of the Germany Sail GP team, partnering with Thomas Riedel, the president of Riedel Communications, marking a new direction in his career. In a bid to raise awareness about biodiversity, Vettel launched the Buzz and Corner initiative during the 2023 Japanese Grand Prix. This initiative aims to address biodiversity issues by providing miniature wooden homes for bees at racing circuits. He participated in the Goodwood Racing Festival in 2023, where he drove Nigel Mansell's iconic Williams FW14B. Vettel remains actively engaged in charitable endeavors, primarily focused on supporting children's welfare and promoting sports. Advocating for environmentally responsible racing, Vettel backs the use of synthetic fuels over conventional ones, he joined the Race Without Trace initiative at the Nürburgring, aiming to make motorsport more eco-friendly. Vettel reunited with his championship-winning RB7 running on sustainable fuel at the Nürburgring, embarking on a full lap on the Nordschleife alongside David Coulthard. In an interview, he shared his recent adventures of camping across Europe in his van. If you're in Europe, there's a chance you might unexpectedly encounter Sebastian Vettel at your local fuel station, so keep an eye out. Moving on to the 2007 world champion Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi concluded his illustrious Formula One career at the close of 2021, having amassed a remarkable 19 seasons, 350 Grand Prix starts, one world championship, 21 wins, and 103 podium finishes. Since his departure from F1, Kimi has ventured into the NASCAR Cup Series, participating in both 2022 and 2023. However, his primary focus now revolves around spending quality time with his family. Kimi recently revealed that his son, Robin, has a strong dedication to karting, having signed up to compete with the renowned Italian karting team, CRG Kart. This team has been associated with the early careers of prominent Formula One drivers like Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton, and Max Verstappen. Additionally, Kimi's five-year-old daughter also shares the passion for racing and has recently secured a podium finish in karting. Aside from his racing interests, Kimi indulges in his love for riding snowmobiles, often joining friends for exhilarating adventures in Finland. Kimi holds the role of team principal for the Kawasaki Racing Team, which competes in the motocross GP class among other disciplines, marking his continued involvement in motorsport beyond Formula One. And let's not forget... Kimi parties all the time, so... <laughs> Our next feature is the Monaco-based YouTuber and the 2016 Formula One world champion, Nico Rosberg. Nico is involved in so many things that it would take a whole separate video to include everything. But here are a few things he's been doing since he left Formula One. In 2020, he established Rosberg X Racing, a team actively competing in the all-electric SUV off-road racing series Extreme E. Nico has made substantial investments in emerging technologies, particularly within the electric vehicle segment. He holds a significant stake in the all-electric racing series Formula E. As a part of the German show Dragon's Den, equivalent to Shark Tank, Rosberg is involved heavily in investment ventures. Nico co-founded the Rosberg Young Drivers Academy with karting mentor Dino Chiesa, showcasing his commitment to nurturing and supporting young go-kart drivers. Philanthropy is a significant part of Rosberg's activities. Alongside his commentary role for Sky Sports F1, he ventured into entrepreneurship and sustainability by co-founding the Green Tech Festival. Additionally, Nico and his wife Vivian run a creamery shop in Ibiza. Next up is the 2009 world champion Jensen Button, Button continued racing in other categories after saying goodbye to Formula One in 2016. In 2018, he clinched the championship title in the Super GT Series. Currently, he participates part-time in the NASCAR Cup Series, driving the number 15 Ford Mustang for Rick Ware Racing. He also competed in the Le Mans 24 Hours, with intentions to resume full-time racing in 2024. He rejoined Williams in 2021 as a senior advisor. He guides their race and academy drivers while fulfilling ambassadorial duties for the team, Alongside, he assumes TV punditry roles with Sky Sports F1. He actively participates in charitable efforts through his personal foundation, the Jensen Button Trust. Next up, we have the seven times world champion, Michael Schumacher. 
Schumacher announced his retirement during the 2012 season. A few months later, he experienced a serious accident while skiing in the French Alps, resulting in a severe head injury that left Schumacher in a coma. Since then, there has been limited information about his health as his family has chosen to keep it private and away from public attention. We extend our wishes for his recovery and look forward to welcoming him back to the paddock. Next, we have the two-time world champion Mika Hakkinen, also known as the Flying Finn. Following his Formula One career, he ventured into rallying in Finland and later competed in DTM before officially retiring from racing in 2007. Presently, he is active in driver management and serves as a brand ambassador for multiple companies. Furthermore, for several years, he's been providing insights into each Formula One Grand Prix through his blogs. Mika also acts as a Formula One motivational keynote speaker and has been mentoring promising Indian F2 talent, Kushmani, with aspirations to guide him towards Formula One. He also serves as a Formula One analyst for the sports broadcaster Viaplay. In 2018, he launched his app, which is designed to empower sports stars, talents, and influencers by granting them better control over their content. Moving on to the 1997 world champion, Jack Villeneuve. Jack pursued his racing passion beyond Formula One by engaging in NASCAR, the World Endurance Championship, and in various other racing categories. Additionally, he ventured into music, notably releasing an album titled Private Paradise, where all the songs were personally written by him and some of his friends. He also did the voiceover for the French version of the Disney animated movie Cars 2. He co-designed the Area 27 racing track in Okanagan, British Columbia, which I think is really impressive. In 2020, during the lockdown, he took part in the All-Stars series of R-Factor Virtual Racing Challenge and competed against other prominent F1 drivers with an Xbox controller, while the other drivers were using sim rigs. This guy is an absolute legend. Jack remains actively involved in the racing scene by frequently attending Grand Prix and providing commentary for French television. He recently tied the knot with Julia Mora during the 2023 Las Vegas Grand Prix. Next up, we have some drivers who are not world champions but had really impressive careers, starting with the Aussie grit, aka Mark Webber. The former Formula One driver currently engages in a diverse range of affairs. Not many people know this, but Mark is a certified helicopter pilot. Webber offers commentary for Channel 4 in the UK and Network 10 in Australia. Notably, he manages the young F1 sensation Oscar Piastri. He is also the co-founder of Jam Sports Management, a firm that collaborates with athletes and oversees their careers. Remaining an influential figure in motorsport, Weber actively participates in various sporting and ambassadorial capacities. As the brand ambassador of Porsche, he accompanies the Porsche team at numerous racing events. Furthermore, his love for motorcycles is apparent as he relishes extended bike rides, frequently exploring the Australian wilderness, a passion he often showcases on his Instagram. Next up, we have Felipe Massa. Following his retirement from Formula One at the end of 2017, Massa ventured into Formula E for the 2018 and 2019 seasons. Subsequently, he participated in the Porsche GT3 Cup Brazil and the Stock Car Pro Series. Massa has also been actively involved in legal proceedings against Formula One, particularly concerning the controversial 2008 Singapore Grand Prix. Though the outcomes of these actions remain to be seen, next up is the one and only David Coulthard. After retiring from Formula One, David transitioned to compete in DTM. David is a remarkable individual. He's extensively engaged as a presenter, commentator, and journalist. Additionally, he holds the title of Red Bull Athlete, maintaining a strong presence within the racing community. Coulthard actively involves himself in marketing activities for Red Bull Racing and recently took the legendary RB19 for a spin at Silverstone. He also participates in drag races featuring old Red Bull cars on the CarWow YouTube channel with Matt Watson. He frequently conducts show runs on behalf of Red Bull Racing at various locations worldwide. Beyond his racing and media roles, he demonstrates a commitment to charitable causes, notably exemplified by his involvement in initiatives like David Coulthard's Fight Against Cancer, aimed at raising funds for Cancer Research UK. Next up, we have the first Indian Formula One driver, Narain Karthikeyan, Following his Formula One career, Kartikeyan delved into competing in Super Formula and Super GT in Japan. Moreover, he established his own racing academy named NK Racing Academy, dedicated to fostering motor racing and karting in India. Through this academy, his vision is to identify racing talent in the country and support them in achieving their aspirations of competing in top motorsport categories. Furthermore, Kartikeyan expanded into entrepreneurship by founding DriveX, a company specializing in selling refurbished motorbikes and scooters. The next driver on the list is Sergei Sirotkin. 
After his brief Formula One career, Sergei ventured into competing in Le Mans. Presently, his primary focus is on managing his own racing academy, S35 Racing. He also holds a key position within the Russian Automobile Federation. Sorotkin actively participates in diverse initiatives, including advocating for safe driving practices and contributing to the development of ethical and sustainable businesses in South Africa. Next up, we have Giancarlo Fisichella. Giancarlo is now a DJ. Yes, it's true. I think you can even book him for events through his website. Pretty cool, right? Apart from his DJing gig, he's engaged in different activities, including public speaking and coaching at corporate events. Moreover, he regularly participates in Le Mans and GT championships, so the passion for racing is still there. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, comment down below which driver's post-F1 career surprised you the most, and I'll see you guys in the next video.